Hello everybody, welcome to my channel, Vintage Boutique Cali. I hope you guys are doing well. Today I am here to do kind of a sneak peek slash preview of some sterling silver jewelry that I will be bringing to my next sterling silver uh, sale slash auction on Friday afternoon, three o'clock Pacific time, uh, six o'clock Eastern time on the 5th of April, which is tomorrow. So anyway, um, I do have a lot of different trays of rings that I will, I'll show you a video tour at the end of this video that of, of things that I've already recorded. Um, what I wanted to also do right now though, is go through this box. This is all, this is an intake tray of a lot of items that are sterling silver or supposed to be sterling silver. Uh, these have not been tested yet. So I will be uh, doing testing before I bring them to uh, the auction, but I thought it'd be kind of fun to go through this box with you and kind of pull things out, uh, show you what I have. And then, like I said, I, I'll test them uh, uh, before I bring them to the sale. And Anagard, if you see the, anything that you're interested in, you can certainly email me as well. I have a very big backlog <clears throat> of emails that I've got to get to before tomorrow. Um, I've been out of commission for really the last month. Not only did I uh, have cough, cold kind of thing, that, and it's still persistent. <clears throat> so um, I'm still coughing all the time, which is not good. And then also a couple weeks ago, I wrenched my back. And so the only thing I can do really is stand straight up or lay flat down. Um, the whole thing of sitting for a while does not work too well. So I haven't to do and it, anyway, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter, but I feel like I'm getting old and I hate that. So anyway, let's just go ahead and dive into this because I know this is what you want to see anyway. So um, again, these are all new sterling silver items or things that are supposed to be sterling. I will test them again. Let's just start with, let's put this over here so that you guys can see it. It's a very nice sterling silver brooch. Oh, and I like the fact that they have the, like the yellow rhinestones. I'll check these too with my presidium to see if it's actually glass or if it's another type thing. Um, do I see a mark on this one? It is marked right there. So anyway, I'll put brooches, I'll put brooches over here. Got to figure out my method of where I'm going to be stacking things because, again, I want to stack brooches, earrings, whatever together. Um, here we have a cool necklace. It's an artisan necklace. Look at that. And it has a paper clip chain. It needs to be cleaned a little bit. You can see on the inside where it's a little bit dull. And you do have markings on the back as well. So Israel. Okay, so necklaces. I'll put necklaces in the back there. Brooches will be, let's see, there you go. Uh, earrings, where am I do earrings? I'm gonna put, uh, no, let me do this. Sorry guys, I should have planned this out a little bit better because earrings have to be matched. I'm just gonna do it this way. Earrings can go there until I get the pair. And we'll put these down here in front so you guys can at least look at it while I'm going through. And we'll put the brooches over here, how about that? Necklaces, brooches, and earrings. And then bracelets will be down here as well, I guess. Speaking of bracelets, <clears throat> Here we have, this is a, this is a thinner, a thinner cuff. I don't see markings at the moment, but it doesn't mean that there's not there. <clears throat> nice etching. So we'll put bracelets here, brooches. I'm trying to get, oh, I got pendants for about two. Okay, here's a. I'll put earrings all over here and we'll get back to the earrings when, we, when I do matches. Uh, this is an earring. 
Oh, I forgot it rings too. That's a cool ring. I'll put rings right there. I'm gonna run out of floor space, I know, but this is just a quick, uh, what does that say? Lang, Lang Sterling. This is shell, a really nice shell pendant. That's a big one. Let's see. Mark 925 right there. This is a pendant, so pendants will go there. Again, I've got to look at all these things closer. I'll look at all these marks. <clears throat> if I don't go fast, then it's going to be here or be here all day. This is. It is marked right there. Sterling, palm trees, that's a brooch or a pin. So put that there. This is a nice bangle. A Greek design. And what is that mark right there? Let me look under the microscope. This is marked Bo Sterling right there. On the inside, you may not be able to see it. I looked under the microscope right there, but it's Bo Sterling. So bracelets will go in front. <clears throat> Here we have a nice pendant. What is that? A R Y O? I don't know. I have to look closer. Pendants? No, where do pendants go? Pendants go over on this side. <clears throat> Here is another. This is a substantial cuff bracelet, and it is marked. I'll have to test those stones. a nice necklace. Again, you don't know the length. That's marked there. I can't read it at the moment. Put that there. This is a very nice, big, heavy, chunky Very cool. Oh wow, look at this, <clears throat> look at this ring. Yeah, the nice stone in the middle. A very brutalist design. Definitely an artisan piece. You have the open shank there so that you can have whatever size you want, that's cool. Here we have this is a newer piece. This is a very nice medallion style um, <clears throat> bracelet. The original price tag was $215. No, thank you. No, thank you. This is a vintage bracelet, and it has a safety chain right there, and it is marked right there as well. Put that there.
this is a Greek design link bracelet. Here you got the slide and box clasp with a safety safety catch. That's an earring. Oh, and there we got we got a pair. Our first pair. These are hollow. These are the electroform earrings. So I'll set those in back as a pair. Here we have another bracelet. A link bracelet and they have all different kinds of uh, different colored cat's eyes. You got the orange and green and blue, purple, different, a lighter green, yellow, orange. Yeah, this is really pretty. And it is marked right there. Here we have another ring. Uh, it's marked right there on the inside, you can see. So there's a ring there. Uh, here we have a, <clears throat> this is a uh, pendant. <clears throat> 925. It's got the open scroll work design. I like that one. Very cool. I'll check the gemstones. I'm assuming that's, I'm assuming those are real gemstones, but again, I will test. That's an earring. Uh, that's a Tosco. They're over there. Wait for the other ones. <clears throat> Here we have a pendant. Pendants will go there. Here we have a ring. That looks like one of those Easter uh, Easter egg candies, doesn't it? I like the lavender. Very nice. I'll put that there. Here we have a necklace. I actually got this necklace because I have the matching brooch and the matching earrings that go with it. So I will marry these and sell them as a set. And there, you got the marking there. Here we have a sterling birds. It is marked. Oh, it's an appendant brooch as well. Is there? Let's see here. Okay, it looks it looks to me, don't know yet, I'll look closer. It looks to me like there might have been a stone, maybe a, a pearl or a gemstone in the center of that flower there. I'm not quite sure, I'll have, to, <clears throat> I'll have to check that out. Here we have a really cool, <laughs> makes, me think, makes me think of that Spirograph game from a long time ago. This one is, Danecraft. Danecraft. That's their brooch. So we'll put their brooches over there. Here we have. I think I have one of these already. I'm almost positive I have an identical brooch like this. I think I do. Where are my brooches? I think I, you know what? I want to check and see if I have that one. Right. 
very similar, very similar. I have a lot of fl uh, flower brooches in my boxes. But look, this one is bigger than this one. But yeah, that's look at that. Check it out. Very fun. What I'm looking at are my boxes right here. These are all my boxes of sterling brooches I have that are all sorted. But anyway, another story. <clears throat> so let's put that back there and continue continue hunting and see what we can find. That's an earring. That's an earring. Here we have a this looks like a, a raw, like a natural ruby ring. Set that in front. Then move the camera down just a little bit to make more room for our treasure stash here. I want you to able to see what it is. Okay, so here is another one of those vintage floral brooches. And it is marked right there. Dump it over there. Continue dig up and here we have another one. Sterling. A bracelet with roses. It's a nice bracelet here with leaves on it. Another Dane craft. And there is another bracelet. A nice vintage one. <clears throat> The gemstones in the middle. It's very pretty. Here is another two tone bracelet. <clears throat> trying to save my voice a little bit for my sale tomorrow. This is, uh, it says 925, and then it has the Ross Simon. Um, the Ross Simon mark there and China. It's very pretty. Here we have an amber, what looks like amber. I'll have to test that obviously too, but this is an amber charm bracelet. <clears throat> what are the dangles? Let's see here. Oh, these are like little locks, locks and keys. So there you have a lock and there you have a key. Uh, another lock, another key, another lock and key, and another lock. There you go. So that's a fun little, fun little piece. Earring, we'll come back to the earrings. This is a bracelet. Dried flowers on the inside. Okay, here's another pair. Oh no, these are not. Uh, no, these are not a pair. Or are they? No, they are not. This one is longer from top to bottom than this one is, so they will have to stay over there for now until I find the right ones. Here we have a, another ring. 
rings go there. Here we have, this is a big, this is a solid piece here. It's marked on the inside. It's a big heart ring. R M F, very art deco initial brooch. Where's this one? Bo Sterling. Bo Sterling there. This is a large, large Labradorite. It's a large size. This has to be at least, uh, this might be a nine and a half or a 10, actually. Let's take that right there. So you can see another vintage mark. This is Tosco piece. I'll put those there until I find the pair. It's a very nice pendant. Really nice agate stone. Is that a sticker or what is that? No, <laughs> that is not, that's not a sticker. That's actually the stone. That's funny. Pendants go there. Here, this is a, an, an earring. Wait till I find the match. All right, another f uh, vintage floral brooch. This is a, uh, Is that another Danecraft? Yeah. Another Danecraft Sterling. Let's put that there. Here we have a very nice um, gemstone, multi-gemstone bracelet with marcasites. And you have a safety chain here, which is nice. And the Come on, open up. Open sesame. What's going on here? Oh yeah, if I just... Well, just be gentle and push down. Oh, <laughs> it's because... <laughs> it's because there's a safety latch on there too. I was wondering why it wouldn't open. Push down and come on. There you go. Fat fingers and small jewelry sometimes do not um, do not go together. I've broken so many pieces like this. But anyway, so there you go. You've got your safety catch. And so that's that's a very nice one. Here we have a very cool. Oh, it's like a Christmas bell. Very fun. We'll put that right there. Here's an earring. Uh, that's an earring there. I'll look at that later. All right, here we have a Triple flower brooch. This looks like an older one. Like a much older one. And what's going on here? What's going on there? Oh, check this out. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay, look at this. Look at the top. The rollover clasp there is missing is missing the rollover piece that will lock the pin in. See that? So it looks like what they did was put a second one right next to it. So that's how you lock it in. Sorry. 
Brooch, where the brooch is. Brooches over. Yeah, right here. Beautiful. This is probably CZ. I don't know. Maybe not. We'll test it. We'll look. What is this? Uh, what does it say? What does it say? It does say Sterling, but... <clears throat> Let me look under the microscope. Ben Chavez. It says, Ster it says Sterling above it, and then it says Ben Chavez with the middle initial. I don't know what this is. This is kind of, is, is something missing right here? I don't know. I do not know. Here we have a thimble. Oh, and the thimble has, what do you call those? Um, abalone around the base of it. I have another thimble, stolen silver thimble somewhere that does not have anything around it. Is There is a mark right there. We'll have to check that out. <clears throat> I'll stick that right here. Here, where you can see that. Here we have a really nice sterling ring. I like the setting. The setting is very nice. What do we have? Oh, that's an earring. I'll put it. And, oh, this is all tangled up. I'll untangle it later. But there you have sterling. And I wonder if this is a, I wonder if that's a coral piece. Because coral made sterling brooches like that. Uh, what do I see? I don't know. I, all, all I can see right now is it, it just says sterling right there. I can look closer when I get that chain it's all wrapped around <clears throat> I have to get that off of there oh look you got your genie you have your little genie the rhinestone on the head wrap there and then you have the crystal ball the blue that's cool That's fun. Earring, put that over there. Here's an earring. And this is an earring. All right, so I'll put those over there until I match them. A uh, very cool um, key. <clears throat> Very cool key pendant. What is that mark? Is that marked? Oh, it's marked on the bail right there. Okay, I'll put that right there. I have a nice little moonstone. Oh, low battery. What am I doing? Where's my, where's my charger? My charger is upstairs. And that's a pendant, so that'll go right there. Here is a um, earring. I'll put that there. And another earring, a little chihuahua dog kind of a thing. All right. Uh, my battery is low. I'm going to stop this and I'm going to come back and we're going to finish going through this box. Let me go get my charger. I'll be right back. Okay, I am all charged in and we are ready to continue going here. All right, here we have 
a ring. Looks like it's marked Tosco. There's that. Rings go there. There we have a little seahorse with abalone. A pendant. And these are the markings. Abalone inlay. That looks nice. Pendants go over here. Mm -hmm. This one, this looks like the raw emerald. Very pretty. Yeah, very pretty. Uh, here we have an earring, uh, again, another Tosco piece. I need to find my matches. Where are the matches? Okay, here we have two different rings. A amber. Put that there. That's a pretty ring too. Got little stones on the side again. <clears throat> I'll test the stones and see what I see what comes out. All right, another tennis bracelet with blue stones. I am assuming blue topaz, but again, I'll check. There is a marking there. What does that marking say? What does it say? Auto made sterling. A U T O M A D E. Auto made sterling. I've never seen that before. Can you see that? It says auto made sterling. Uh huh. Here's a pair of earrings. You can already see there's a mark up there. So that can go. We got two pairs that are matched anyway. What is this? This is another earring. We'll wait on that one. Dig, dig, dig. What do we have? What do we have? Okay, we have, <clears throat> we have a name ring. Janet. Janet. Rings go there. Earring. A nice pendant here. Where do I want to put it? Right there. When I lay things on the table, I try to I try to put color and textures around so that it looks good on camera. <laughs> so, so you have something fun to look at when you're going through this together. All right, we have another earring there. Here we have another nice glass stone or a gemstone. Again, I'll test. Pennant there. Pennants go over here. So right there. Aha, we have a match. We have a match. Come on. There you go. Are they marked? Yes, they are right there. Okay, so I'll put those in the back. And here we have another, looks like a Jasper to me. Jasper pendant.
It's a vermeil. I hope these are amethyst. Actually, I have my, let me turn the presidium on. I'm very anxious to find out. This is really pretty, guys. Really pretty. Where's the clasp? Okay, here's the clasp. You have the safety. There, and then you have There's the marking, and it is under the microscope. What does it say here? Oh, that's Ross, uh, Ross Simon as well. Beautiful. This is actually one of my favorite pieces so far to come out. That's gorgeous. Let me test real quick. I am just curious. Oh, wow. Oh, this is a topaz. Beautiful purple topaz, this is so pretty. Yeah, this is one of my favorite pieces so far. Very, very nice. Got some rings in here. Let's see, we have... This one. This looks like garnet here. Got it. Got a quick look at it. Yep, this is a garnet. I have a very similar garnet ring like that. I have these. It's a very similar ring to. Very similar ring to this one. larger. Anyway, I don't want to get it mixed up because everything, everything down here needs to be tested, but at least you can see the variety of things. <clears throat> Sorry. Take a swallow of my coffee. There you go. Sterling silver. Diadema, diadema. Diadema. I'm not sure how you pronounce that. I have had some of their stuff before. This is two tone. So that's a pair. So I can put those in the back over there. Very cool, a vintage, um, what do you call it? Daisy? No, no, that's a daisy. I'm not sure what kind of flower that is. Very cool though. Very cool. <clears throat> okay, we have an earring. We have an earring and we have another earring. So, we have a match for this one somewhere. Oh shoot, I should spread these out a little bit more. There it is. So there you have the match for that pair. So I'll set that right there. And again, these are the Electroform. They're hollow. The Tosco ones. So I'll set. Oh, and they we're gonna match. We gotta match. <clears throat> I 
Hope you guys are doing okay. <clears throat> Again, not trying to talk too much, just to save my voice. I know we found that one already. Oh, come on, Doug. Those are nice. All right, that's a pair. So let's stick those back there. These two fell out of my hand. So those are somewhere. Aha, uh -huh. look, 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 look. Mm. So that's a pair. Let's set to the side. Aha, uh -huh. you got either brooch or a brooch, I guess, horizontally or a pendant vertically. Very thin earring. Oh, that's an old vintage bird brooch. It's very cool. Marked sterling right there. Very cool. Very, very cool. I'll put that right. Oh, where? Do I... I'll put it right there. This is a multi gemstone ring, but the ring has these little dangle bits. Almost like a cha cha ring, but these little things are not uh, stationary. They flip back and forth. That's cool. All right, here we have another Asian brooch, sterling. What does it say? This one says sterling 950 right there. And I could put that. I'm running out of room. Another earring. I'll put that there until I find the match. Aha, here is the match to this one. There you go. And then what else do we have here? We have a, oh, this is a, I don't know if it's coming through on camera, but it's a tricolor. You've got the sterling silver and then you've got the gold vermeil and then you got the rose gold as well. So three colors there. I'm assuming Italy, yeah, Italy right there. Okay, we'll do that there. Here we have a little pendant wish. A little wish box, what do you call it? PMI, Mexico PMI. On the box it says Wish, wish. Oh, sorry, pendants go over here. What am I doing? I'm only doing that because I wanna, when I, I wanna keep them sorted so that when I um, test them, I can do all the rings at one time, all that kind of stuff. All right, I love this too. Love this too. These are all the silver coins, the florin, Australia. I have a whole bunch of these uh, coin bracelets um, that I've been putting aside, saving them. So this will probably go in that collection as well. That's kind of very cool. All right, what do we have here? We have a, a necklace with 
It looks like a combination heart and horse. Is that what you see? A heart and a horse? Horse's tail? My hands are so dirty right now. Wow. Yeah, I need to keep my fingers off camera. It's hard to keep my fingers clean when I touch all this stuff. Oh, we got a pair. I saw this one already, I think. Yep. There you got a pair. Oh, and that one goes over there. Yeah, it's hard to get, see the black? I need to, <clears throat> I don't like wearing the gloves. I think the gloves on camera just look kind of weird. So I don't know which is worse, seeing, seeing black from the stuff or wearing the gloves, you can tell me, but. Here's another ring. This is kind of very similar. Hmm. I'll have to look and see if these are from the same. Anyway, they're there. Boom. I love this. Look at this. Got a cobra ring. And it's got gemstone eyes. See the black eyes? It's marked there. This is a sturdy ring too. This is a heavy one. This is not one of those cheap flimsy ones. That's cool. Here we have an earring. Uh, do we have a match? Yes, we have a match. There you go, <clears throat> match to the side. I love this. Look at the patina there. Oh, and it is marked, that is marked. Uh, Sterling 925 Norway. Very cool, very, very cool. Okay. Sorry. I like this ring too, look at that. Probably a citrine, I assume. Aha, here's the match, the malachite. <sighs> Come on, Doug, stop it. Yep. Yep, those. I'll put those in the back. That was a matched pair. This one doesn't look like sterling. This does not look like sterling to me. I'm, uh, yeah, I'm not, I'm really, I'm questioning this one. This does not look like, I'll set that to the side because I don't, I don't believe that one. There's, we have a match, we have a match. Another old vintage top scope pair. Oh, I just dropped a ring. Come on. <clears throat> Carnelian. Very pretty Carnelian. Uh, here's a puffy earring. And there we go. Another triangular garnet. This is, these are a little bit different. Look at the way they're set. Much different setting than this one. Very cool. I love garnet. Love, love, love garnet. Okay, what else do we have? Let's keep digging. Here is the match to these old vintage. These are these are chunky. These are these are chunky. Clip earrings. 
very like uh, I'd call it more brutalist too. Here we go. I'm not gonna take him out of here. You got a pair of onyx ones there, and these are little opal posts. They're already matched up. That's good. And what is this one? Oh, look at these. Those are cool. These are old. Really old. That's cool. I'm gonna keep those in the bag just because that's the way they were. All right, oh, I love this. Look at this. This this very much looks like Balinese to me. Almost like the Sajin Sarda and is that Mystic Topaz, I guess. Very cool. That pin there over there. Oh, we have, we have another one. Are they the same? No, one's a little bit smaller than the other. Yeah, one's a little bit smaller than the other, uh, the bow wise which obviously is very con indicative of handmade too. Machine made, they'd all be the same, but that's cool. And they're both Tosco, yep, yeah, they're both Tosco. Very cool. Fun, fun. Here we have a uh, earring, set that in the back. Turquoise and coral. Bead bracelet. Ah, oh, look at this. Turquoise ring with vermeil. Uh, so many times you see turquoise with silver. It's it's, it's a rarity when you see the, the vermeil. So, I like the contrast of this, I really do. That's a larger one too. It's a very cool piece, very cool piece. Uh, another Tosco piece, earring, I'll put that in the back. And you know what, I'm getting a phone call right now, so let, let me take the phone call and I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. So, <clears throat> sorry for all these interruptions, but I guess this is a good thing about recording instead of uh, doing it live because recording, I can stop and start um, as needed. But <clears throat> let's continue with what we have here. Uh, it's like another huggy. I think we have a pair on that one. I thought I saw one of these huggies somewhere. Maybe I'm making that up. There you go. All right, that'll be a, a matched pair in back. Uh, I saw one of these too. Vermeil. And they're marked up there on the pin. Okay, large rocky. Wow, Calla Lily. Really nice Cal uh, Vermeil Calla Lily ring. Very nice. Uh, that's a, I'll come back to that one. Here we have a nice um, multi gemstone tennis bracelet. In great condition. Uh, what does it say here? 
Thailand 925ALX Thai. And that's what that says. It's a matched pair. I'll put that in the back. We have a travel charm bracelet. Where's the end of it? Right there. I felt, oh wait, what is this? There's a mark on here, or a tag, what does it say? Oh, Disneyland. <laughs> that tag goes with Disneyland. And you have, let's go back over here to the beginning. Sorry about that, guys. Fat fingers on small jewelry. You have oh, like a hula dancer. You have Eiffel Tower, Disneyland, maybe Washington, D.C., maybe the Capitol Building. Not sure. It could be a Capitol Building of any place. Ah, must be Venice with the little canal boats. Is that Tower of London? No. What does that say? Oh, <laughs> I'm so stupid. I'm like, oh, is it the Tower of London? No, it's not, it's upside down. It's the San Francisco trolley. Right there, SF on the side. So, not Tower of London, it's, that's funny. What is this one? What is that one? I can't read it without looking in the microscope. This one says, oh, the summit of Pikes Peak, Colorado. And then what's this last one? We have like a little, little cabin or a little house. Anyway, that's fun. Nice little charm bracelet. Here we have a match. I know I saw a match over there. Voila. There we go. Okay, what does this say? Let me look under the microscope. Vandell. Vandell Sterling. A very cool old vintage piece. Nice, nice, nice. There we have a heart. Mark there. It would dang well. It would dangle like that. <coughs> there. This was I keep dropping that one piece. So you have the fish, the ichthys symbol. The turquoise inlay. There you go. This butterfly keeps dropping. And
And you got this little dainty necklace. Huh. It says silver. Um, I'm not convinced. I'm not convinced on this one. I just, I'm not convinced. I'm gonna, I'm not convinced. <clears throat> I think that may go in the, that may go in this pile. This is, there's two things in here for sure that raise red flags for me right now. And it's these two. So I'm gonna keep those completely test, uh, separate before I do all my testing. And then I see another pair here. It's already paired up, so. Rainbow Topaz, five millimeter. Oh, and you know what? That would look good with this, maybe. Maybe so, maybe so. Another earring. Put it over there. Ah, we have another Cobra ring. That's a bigger one. Where's the other Cobra ring here? Oh. Oops, dropping things. Similar, but different. Very fun. Again, these are, these are very solid and heavy, not, not flimsy ones. Okay, you got nice little crystals here. Here, we, this is another, another natural, natural emerald, just like this one. Yep. Okay. I'll just keep those two together. Let me just double check while, I'm, while I got my thing here. Yep. Yep. Corundum. I mean, not Corundum. Emerald, what am I saying? What am I saying? Emerald. Got a nice bracelet here. Heavy, heavy, heavy. I actually got this one from, uh, this one I got from, um, I'm so tired. Drawing a blank on the name, sorry. Got that one from um, Roberta, Simply Roberta's Treasures. Gosh, very heavy, very, very heavy. That's a bracelet, I'll stick right there. Mm, here's another big chunky one. Similar kind of, similar kind of opening. Very, very heavy. Very heavy. I'm gonna stick that right there too. Just keeps going on and on. We got a pair. Where's a pair? Here's a pair. There's the pair. Don't get it mixed up. Come on, where's the pair? That goes there. You got your black onyx and you have your mother of pearl heart bracelet like that. Mm. 
Hmm. Definitely want to test that one <clears throat> as well. Bracelet. An old vintage. Tosco, I assume. Yes, sirree. Right there. Ah, Praise Your Light. It's a really nice Praise Your Light earrings. Green Amethyst, same thing. Very pretty stone. We'll look at that ring. Let's see, these are very pretty. Here we have another one. Very pretty amethyst. That's solid too. Right there. Oh, another one of the, <clears throat> excuse me. Another one of these chunky rings. The 70s rings. Ah, we have a match. We've got a match. We have a match. There's your your match. What do we have here? This is nice, dainty. Let's see. Is that the back? That's the back side. What does it say? Let me look here. <clears throat> I'm sorry I'm not being as lively. Again, I'm trying to save my voice a little bit. Um, <laughs> I don't even know what that says. That's... Maybe you can tell me. Let me put this over. The camera right there. Uh. Move it down closer. Oh, you know what? I'm thinking this is Egyptian. No. It looks like it says M8925. M8925. When I had it on the side, it kind of looked like the Egyptian, <laughs> Egyptian marks. Anyway, <clears throat> let's go back down here and see what else we have to go from. Okay, so anyway, this is, it's a nice design, just very simple. Very simple, not over the top. So there's that. This other one. There's, didn't we have this earring already or did I already just see it in my hand? Don't think so. Okay, anyway, here we have a, where is that mark? What does it say? Bo Sterling. Bo Sterling of, of these. So I'll put that over there until we get the match to it. There we have a nice, oh, look at that. Very pretty. Moonstone, very pretty. 
or I should say rainbow, rainbow labradorite, white labradorite. Here we have a bit right there. This is a nice, this is a big men's ring. It's heavy too. That's your Texas. It's a big, big honker. Big honker. Aha, uh -huh. we have a men's old vintage tie, tie clip. Markings are on there. There you have a symbol. Put that over to the side right there. I, uh, earring, do we have a match for this one? No, not yet. Okay. Here we have a lovely, look at that. An absolutely gorgeous. Look at that stone. Malachite, look at that cut. This is a big one. That's a very big one. Pendants over there. Pendant. Ah, we have a match for this one somewhere. I know I saw that one. I know I did. Well, come out, come out wherever you are. There it is. This reminds me very much of the, uh, um, what do you call it? I can't remember the brand. I'm really tired still. <clears throat> ah, we have a match. We have a match to this earring. There you go. It's another match. And this one fell out of my hand. Little pendant. Now we have another ring. Fun ring. Uh, earring. Boy, my hands really are getting dirty. There we have, oh, this is one of those Mexican rings. You know what, I've got a, I've got a bracelet. Where is it? <clears throat> I had this off to the side, check that out. These two could go really well together. Very cool, very, very cool. Huh? Sorry, my <clears throat> my chair is sliding on the hard floor right now. Bingo, bingo, bingo. There's the match. Again, this is the electroform. It's hollow on the inside, and there you have your Tosco marks. very a very tiny good for stacking carnelian or is that coral it could be coral looks coral to me not sure seed seed sunflower 
little pendant. There you go. Pendant's over there. Ah, Scandinavian. Uh, Aha, uh -huh. Scandinavian, I bet. Let me look and see what this says. This one said Norway. And this one says... Well, let me turn this around. Let me put these back. Let me turn this around over here. I want you to see what I'm looking at. This says Mecca, Mecca, Sterling, Denmark. And that's this. This one. Is Mark Sterling S925 S and then Norway. And then you have the, the mark right there as well. So they're not exactly a set, but darn if they don't look good together. Darn if they don't look good together. I totally wear them together. A lot of jewelry, a lot of sterling silver to here to look at. I want to find the match to this one. There it is. Yeah, these look great. These would be awesome, awesome, awesome. I'm gonna have to look these up. Cause I do know that the, the Scandinavian, the Scandinavian jewelry goes for quite, quite a lot of money. Is that not cool? Okay, that's one of my favorites as well. It's one of my favorite sets as well. I'm gonna call it a set. I'm gonna marry them even though they're not, they'll be sold together as a set. Um, what else do we have here? Let's continue looking. All right. Southwestern or native, I'm not sure. Uh, what does that say? Mexico 925. So, uh huh, there you go. That pair. All right, now we're Oh, what a beautiful ring. What a beautiful, look how black my hands are getting. Oh my gosh. That's why I have these <laughs> polishing claws. It's a beautiful ring. Aha, we have a match. We have a match. Bingo. I don't, I don't even have my handy wipes down here at all. So you guys have to really ignore. Look at that. This is a really heavy, heavy, heavy duty torque or collar. Some people call it collars, I call them torques. This is a heavy duty one, in fact. This is one you would want to use for these large pendants. Like that. So you got that. <clears throat> I hope you guys are enjoying this. If you are enjoying it, please give me a thumbs up on this video and even share it out if you if you don't mind. <clears throat> Again, I've been away for four four weeks. I'm trying to get better. It's a beautiful stone. Wow, look at that. Here we have it. <clears throat> Here we have another. We have a match on that one, I know for a fact. There you go. And these were Tosco as well. These are not matched yet. Here we have another an inlay ring. This is a wraparound inlay ring. It's 
Mark Sterling right there. Another beautiful ring. Nice faceted stones there. Mm -hmm. Oh, praise your light. There, we got a match on that one. A match, match, match. Love, love, love. So that's a pair. What do we have here? Aha, here's the other, what did we say that one? That was a Bo Sterling one. We have a match on that one. Where was it? It was somewhere in front here. Uh, there it is. You got your anchors. Got your little necklace there. A little dainty sun. Not that there, so it didn't get messed up. Danecraft. Again, right, that is Danecraft, right? Yep. Another Danecraft Sterling. I got a bunch of these kind of things. Okay, another one of the hollow. Uh, where I know we saw, there it is. There's the match to that one. All oh, these are not matched. Keep them separate. All right, I have a nice chunky dolphin. Thick pendants go over here. Oh, look at the gorgeous stone again. Just beautiful stones. Uh, look at this. This is a piece of porcelain or ceramic that they made into a pendant. That's really nice. I like that. So you get a different look. It is Mark. Over there, 9 2. Yeah. Very fun. There we have a, a blue glass with a flower. Pendant goes over there. No, yeah, pendants go over here. We're getting down to the end. This is a long video and I do apologize, but I figured I might as well do it all at one time because I want to be able to sit down and do testing at the same time too. <clears throat> and this way you guys can look at it. There you go. I guess that's for perfume, not sure. Big puffy heart, no dents, which is great. Oh, we have a match for this. A match for those two mother pearl, pink mother pearl. Also, we got a match in my hand. Very pretty lapis. There, mark there, that's a pair. I can stick that in the match pile. There you have a ring, black 
Onyx and Mother of Pearl. Oh, they got it. Vermeer. Ah, they got a match here. I'm assuming, I'm assuming that's Amethyst and Blue Topaz. Until checked. Let's pull all these things over here. Sliding down the box. Nothing along the edge there. Okay, we have Siam. We have the boat. And that's the brooch. It's a nice paper clip chain. I know who's getting this one, in fact, Jen Bennett. Jen Bennett, you've been looking for one of these paperclip chains, so I promised you when I have one, you get first dibs, so there you go. It's a nice paperclip chain. I'll set that to the side. Look how black, oh my God, look at that. Look at that. I am so sorry. But if you guys have gotten, you bear with me this long. This is puffy. It's two sides. Two sides put together. Look at that. The open scroll or open cut pendant. We have another earring. I'm assuming that's a dyed purple jade, but again, I'll, I'll test it. Put that over there. Oh, gorgeous faceted pendant. Oh, that's, that's actually not, that's an enhancer. Voila, that's an enhancer. I assume that's either smoky quartz or smoky topaz, one of the two. I'll set that over there. No matches. Okay. So that's an earring. I love that. Look at that crystal. Look at that old, old crystal earring. That's awesome. I'll set that over there. Ah, oh, we have a match. We have a match for these little dogs. Uh-oh. Doggy went bye-bye. Little bells. We're getting down to the bottom, folks. All right, we have a little saxophone with abalone inlay. This is an old piece. Tosco, you got the marks right there. It's a brooch, look what's on that side. Over here, oh, we have the match. We got a match, we got a match. Voila, and yep, Tosco. Goes there, and that's the match to it. All right, we have a Creed Sterling pendant. There you go, pendant. Oh, I saw this one. Actually, there's a three earrings here. Um, 
The only one that I saw a match to is this one. Right there. Now this little tiny one. Then you have this one. Mexico again. There's another earring. I thought we had a match to that one already. We do, right there. Okay, got that. These kind of look like the Israel design, don't they? Okay, that's a pair. Uh, I know we have that pair. We saw that already. It's right there. It's a very pretty purple. Lavender there, Mark. Yeah, I hope you guys are enjoying this. I know it's taking a lot longer than I anticipated, but there's a lot of stuff for us to go through and look at. Uh, <clears throat> you get a little starfish there, pendant. Here's some earrings. I know for a fact we have this one as well. There's the match. And they are Mark Tosco in the back as well. Do we have this one yet? Uh, we... No, oh, there's a match. Very pretty. What is that? That one we've had a match to already. Not a key. That one's a match, I just knocked it over. These are the ones we don't have the matches to yet. Oh, another gorgeous ring. Look at that one. Very fun. Oh, this is a nice, that's a nice wrap around. That's a nice one, a really nice one, 925. Here we have multicolor amber. Malachite, definitely needs cleaning. Here we have a butterfly. A butterfly with a pineapple. I thought All right, there's an earring that goes to that one. There you go, you got earring, <clears throat> a pair of earrings, and you have a pendant. There's the malachite. this guy and we have a really nice this is a nice Figaro chain this 
this feels this feels like one of the older ones that this is one of the older ones too thick and heavy thick and heavy not thin and and more cheaply made like the newer ones are that's a nice one uh -huh. there's a match for that pair of earrings These are marked coral. Come on. Yeah. These are marked coral. Very cool. Pull it all in my hand. See what we have left. Okay, there's nothing else on the sides there. Here we have, look at this gorgeous, gorgeous bumblebee jasper. Large, large, in fact, that would look really nice on this. That's gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. And this was the matching vermeil earring. Where was that one? That was right here. There you go. Come on, I have a lot to do between now and the sale tomorrow. Oh, cool. How is this marked? What is this marked? Well. It's got the, it's got the two fish. I have a whole bunch of this. I have real ones and fake ones of that. Pendants go over here. It's a really nice little band ring. Uh-huh, you have an initial. Is it L or is it F maybe? This is a money clip. Oh, it's marked. It's marked. Uh... Oh, German silver. Okay, German silver is not silver at all. German silver is like alpaca or um, like Tibetan silver. Tibetan silver, alpaca, German silver, it's all the same. No silver content. I'm, that shouldn't be in there. Aha, uh -huh, here you go. There's the match. There's the match. These are gorgeous. These are old. Old, old crystal. It's gorgeous. Some of, okay, that's a favorite piece too. Aha, uh -huh, here's a match. Here's a match. We're down to the wire now. Let's go here. Here's a match. So those two can go off to the side. Here's a match. So those can go off to the side. Okay, here we have a horse and I guess it's a jockey, jockey brooch. Aha, uh -huh. here we have a match. A match for those. There you go. We have another ring. Ah, oh, you got the little fairy ring. Little fairy ring there. All right, we have a small cross pendant. Okay. 
Okay, what do we have here? We have a small gemstone pendant. Dainty, very, very pretty. Pearl and I'm assuming blue topaz. Oh, missing a pearl there. Maybe on there, I'll have to look. Aha, here's an earring. There's a matching earring. And here we have a match. Oh, shoot. Okay, well. That's the match to it, but guess what? Unfortunately, that's a dent, so both of those are gonna have to go into melt. A melt pile. There you got one. Is that Saint? Who is that? I am not up on my, I'm not Catholic, so I am not up on my Catholic saints, but you can, Saint Aloysius, Italy. On the back side, what does the back side look like? That's the back side. Okay, so where are we? Where are we? Where are we? Oh, I guess that was it. No. All right, so no match to this one. So maybe that's laying around somewhere. And I guess, I guess these two are a pair. Maybe it was just an optical illusion where I thought, Well, yep, I think these are a pair. All right, so there you have, that's all of the new sterling silver that I had sitting in this intake tray that you guys have not seen um, yet. Uh, so I know this has been a very, very long video, but hopefully you enjoyed seeing um, what this stuff is. I do have this coming. Um, I also have several other trays already made up. And uh, because this is a recorded video, I will go ahead and splice that video into the end of this so that you can see um, a bunch of the uh, rings that I already have set out. I have boards of um, pendants already set up as well. And I've got obviously all of these, uh, all of these, these are all sterling rings as well that I will have available for the sale. And yeah, I have a lot of trays of everything. So um, thank you again for being here and watching this video. Please, again, if you enjoy this, please give me a thumbs up. And obviously I'm not gonna be able to bring all of this to the sale as far as sell it, but I'm going to be doing uh, several sales back to back or not back to back, but you know, going forward. So um, please uh, bookmark me, subscribe if you have not already. And I appreciate you hanging in here with me. So thank you very much. And hopefully I'll see you tomorrow in the, in the auction. <clears throat> and uh, we'll go from there. All right. Thank you. Bye-bye. Oh, and here comes the, here is the rest of it. Thank you.